Okay guys, now today I want to hit up on the controversial topic of keeping snakes in a tub or keeping them in a vivarium. Okay guys, so to start off, I keep them in both, some in vivariums and some in tubs. Most of them aren't in tubs and I'm going to explain why. Alright guys, so to quickly explain is I do have vivariums for all of them. And I do not keep them all in vivariums because they do not all thrive in vivariums. <laughs> and the thing that I do want to explain to you guys is that, again, these guys that I have, the three here and my Kenny and Sambo back there, is I've left them here and they eat well, they're fine, they're chill, and they constantly eat and all that stuff. The ones I have here um, usually don't. So... Um, a lot of these that I have here are smaller, except for this one over here. He's an adult male. He's not there and probably hiding somewhere. And the same thing with my lavender. Um, they have to be separate in tubs because they easily get stressed out. Um, when I had them in one of these, they've been moving all over, getting crazy, hissing all the time. I'm like just chilling in my bed and they're just hissing for no reason. So I'm like, they've been stressed out. They didn't eat. So then I moved them to the tub system like this one. I moved her to the tub system here and she's been thriving. So again, she likes being left personal. She doesn't hiss. She doesn't do anything. Um, when I do put my hand in there, of course she's hisses, but I'm going to tame her down. But again, she eats well. As you see the little cup that I have there, I usually just put the mouse there and leave it there and she'll eat it. I'm going to take that off. I'm not going to leave it there. But again, the same thing with this guy and the same thing with the others. So that's one thing you guys have to know. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that when they're small, if you have them in the vivarium, they easily stress out. So they do not thrive. Understand that they usually, if they go off feed when they're small, is because you have them in something like this. I know you probably have more hides than I do. But again, a lot of these just burrow. They never use their hides besides this girl. Again, I've had hides for all of them and they just don't use it. They're always away from them. So I just want to give them a little bit of more space to, you know, move around. Um, so again, that's one thing I do want you guys to understand. Smaller hog noses usually end to be picky eaters because they need to be in something smaller. They thrive here in tubs. When I've had these babies in one of these, they did not thrive. They did not eat. They were constantly feeling stressed, moving around, hissing, all that stuff. But when I moved them here, they started eating. They started being more calm. Again, this one is still hissy. This one's a girl. And she's still hissy all the time, but she constantly eats now. This one does too, as well as the other ones. So again, it's about understanding your snakes. There is no controversy about, you know, where to keep them. You can keep them in both. You just have to see what your snake prefers because they all prefer different things. And you have to understand that, guys. Um, if you, I know you spent a lot on the vivarium and your snake isn't eating, especially hog noses that are very, very picky. The reason is because, you know, they probably need more privacy. They need their, you know, tub or something, you know, where you wouldn't really be bugging them. Um, again, just make sure you pay attention to your snake because their body language does tell you everything. So, again, that's pretty much the only thing I wanted to talk about. If you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. I will be glad to answer as quickly as possible. Um, if you, again, haven't subscribed, please do. It'll help me out a lot. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, check out the Patreon. Uh, eventually, um, I hope that's going to be beneficial for a lot of you because, you know, <laughs> I have something good going on there. But, again, as you see, this guy doesn't really stress out. This one is not stressing out right now. Um, but, uh, you know. You always have to understand your snakes, and it's not bad to have them in tubs. Again, I know there's a lot of people that have this controversy of keeping them in tubs, but again, eventually when they feel more comfortable, and I'll try to put them in a vivarium again, and if they thrive there, then I will leave them there. But again, know your animal. Don't over, you know, stress them and stress yourself, you know. Um, always learn how to read your animal because I've had a lot of experience with these and I've learned that there are multiple ways of caring for them.
So again, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.